Okay, so by bringing in a pencil sketch into Illustrator and then live tra tracing it, I was able to get something pretty close using the advanced settings. But you'll see that sometimes I need to smooth things out, and I can do that with my pencil tool. And I can double click on my pencil tool and set that to be more smooth or or less smooth, right? And I can go around and make these little corrections with my magic scissors here. But I, I will never have anything as like perfectly uniform, if that's what I'm going for, as by just uh, digitally inking it entirely on my own, which is what I get from using the blob brush here. So those are the two different ways within Illustrator that are really good for making line art. Using the blob brush tool, especially with a tablet, but not even necessarily, like I'm just using a trackpad now because I have it at a, at a fixed weight. And it kind of smooths it out for me, right? And then also the live trace options, which you'll find under Window, Image Trace. But then what's great about a vector is you can always modify that and it will always be perfectly clean. Unlike doing it in a raster program where you just, you have to erase pixels and it's easy to kind of muddy them up. So there's a lot of kind of spot treatment here. Whereas by just inking everything yourself, you can really create all of the parameters. So I'm going to finish just using the fixed brush, a uh, blob brush here. And what's great about the blob brush is every time you just click and overlap an existing mark, it just adds it to the existing path. I think that's why it's called blob brush. It's just one big blob of ink that it creates. You can always use Command Z to go back. Some lines are more important than others. You want to get certain ones right. Now one downside to digitally inking is when you ink by hand, you can turn the uh, the paper at different angles to get get a better um, kind of attack on a curve, especially when you're inking. So I'm having this problem here with this curve. In Illustrator, there isn't a way to curve the screen, right? There's the hand tool, which allows you to move around it when you're zoomed in, which is helpful, but there's no way to kind of tilt it temporarily. In Photoshop, and in most raster programs, there is now a way where under the hand tool, you can tilt the image <laughs> to get a better angle for your inking. You know, whatever that might be. But in Illustrator, there sadly is not that tool. So like, like with anything, there's always positives and negatives too the technology.
You want to save your progress every once in a while, just Command S. And I think I'm almost done here. Remember your sketch is not, doesn't have to be followed slavishly. It's just how you get started. Oops. And I'm wondering how much of these little details I want, or how much to do in coloring. Now, the, the beauty of the vector is I can always just delete individual paths and, and edit them, no matter how they were created. Okay, now I need the little blob of blood, a little smear of blood there, and the blob of blood here. This would be a nice place to be able to control the curve. But because it's a vector, And because it's the blob brush, it's not a stroke. It has an inside and an outside. Then I can use the pencil tool and I can smooth it out. As long as I can see the anchors, I can draw through them. Yeah. I can also use the smooth tool, which is under the pencil tool, to average them out. Then there's other little areas So it's tricky to try to show you all the different ways you can do line art. But hopefully by seeing how you would do it in the, the freeware raster program and the freeware vector program, you get a sense of what the, the core importance is of the line art. That it defines the shapes cleanly. Using the smooth tool here, can round these little things up. That's completely up to you how um, particular you want to get. This is not a logo, so it doesn't need to be as perfectly clean in any way as graphic design logos or graphic symbols tend to need to be. And I think all all the little bumps and stuff are just fine. There we go. Okay, so now I just need the legs. And I'm liking this fixed, fixed weight blob brush. Just using simple interfaces. Whoa, what did that do? Wrong tool. Okay. 
my boys are playing Yu-Gi-Oh very loudly <laughs> in the background playing cards. Hopefully you can't hear that, but it's pretty funny. All right. Now I'm going to do the legs. Remember, it will smooth it out once I've finished. And I'm getting pretty wobbly here. So it's nice to have that smooth feature. So this is a tricky angle to draw all these curves. Okay, and then I'm just going to tweak it a little bit using the pencil tool. Slim it down. Good time to save it. Illustrator can get glitchy sometimes because it's mostly trying to kind of maximize performance and save memory. So you often have to save and just um, kind of zoom in and out to get tools to bounce back to what they're supposed to be doing. Little things. It's kind of odd. But it's got so many advantages, we live with it. All right. So now just the shadow shape underneath. So I have this one kind of sh black shadow of blood I want to do. Because line art is not just outlines. It can also be solid black. So anywhere you think you're going to have solid black, you can also fill that in. Of course, we can fill that in in coloring as well. Okay, so now I just need confident smooth shape here. Uh, maybe not that. Let's see. Let's see. It's just all too smooth. This is tricky. That's better. Okay, and then I'm just going to smooth this out with the pencil tool. Bring my blobbed edges together. And maybe use the smooth tool. Remember, you have to see the anchor points in order to be able to use these tools. 